In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can extrude faces along a curve. This is really helpful when you want to make a shape that is kind of abstract. First, let's create a curve in Maya. Go to Create, Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. I'm going to create a curve with the CV Curve Tool. It looks like I'm clicking in space, but this is actually a flat curve. Press Enter to accept your curve. Then if you orbit, you'll notice your curve is flat. We can fix that by Right clicking, go to control vertex, select some vertices, press W to move, move them up, select some other vertices, move them down, maybe select these vertices, move them up, and perhaps move these ones over here. So now we have a curve that is in space. Let's get a shape to extrude. I'm going to click on the polyplane, then I'm going to zoom in on it, and in the attribute editor, I'll click on polyplane one, and I'll change the subdivisions down to just one. Now we need to snap our face to the curve. We can hold C and then middle mouse button and click on the curve. And then it snaps right on the curve. And then we can move it to the edge. Then we can press E to rotate it how we wish. We can press R to scale it up a little bit. And then we need to orbit, right click, select face mode, select the face, hold shift, select the curve, then hold shift right mouse button and then extrude face. You'll notice that there's not much going on because we only have one division. So we can change the divisions here and that will start having it go farther or we can change the divisions over here in the attribute editor. Either way works fine. So I can change my divisions here, add more divisions and you'll get a smoother curve. If I make this 45 divisions, I get a nice smooth curve. We can also taper this, which is really nice. So I can go ahead up here and I can add a taper to go bigger or to decrease in size. And I can also add a twist to the curve. So you can see here, adding a twist is really nice. If I look at it in smooth mode, you get this nice organic form that would be quite difficult to model in any other way. And the nice thing is everything is in the design history. So in my outliner, so if I click the curve, and then I right click on it and I go to control vertex and I look inside for the CV curve tool. I don't need to have x-ray mode, but sometimes you see them here and then I can press W and move these around and it moves my geometry. So this is a great way to fix and tweak your curve, especially if you're trying to make power cables in Maya or anything else where you want the final look to be specific. You can move these around. Press six to go back to shaded mode. So hopefully this helps you use the extrude faces along a curve tool in Autodesk Maya. Happy 3D modeling.